What's up you guys? Hope you guys are doing well. So today we'll be going over my first NFT collection drop, which I collabed with Kevin Nguyen, as you can see on the left right here. I'm on the right right here. It's a little bit sus, but that's who we are who we are. It is what it is. So NFTs are tokens that you can create that are valuable, which are very similar to like baseball cards, tickets autographs collectible shoes stuff like that their value comes from previous ownership so let's say you have an nft that was previously held by elon musk that's going to be more valuable than an nft that's held by someone random also their utility so maybe people may use nfts as a membership to enter their organization they may use it as a source of value in a video game they have uh, it may be increased due to scarcity. Maybe people just like the certain artwork as it can be sounds, video, images, stuff like that. So let's get into our first collection. First off, we got Strippin' Tim. The collection's called Only Boys. So this was highly requested by absolutely no one, but we'll keep going with it. Strippin' Tim. There he is in all of his glory. So here's the backstory. A long time ago, in a distant galaxy, a young boy named Tim found a pool. He was surrounded by the LC organization and wanted to be a bad boy. So as his gentle, small hands grasped the giant's big pool and inner thoughts, to control them. See his properties. He has a possessed stripper. Three out of ten attack. Absolutely no defense, but ten out of ten seduction. So let's go into the second one. Also known as Ultimate Chad. Here's the backstory. The year was 2052. Handsome Squidward was on a rampage. Tinder, Grinder, Bumble, Coffee. It didn't matter. No one could stop this beautiful man. In order to stop him, an anonymous organization sent an android to halt his efforts. Although it got smashed, this was the last photo it took before it fell for him. Properties Handsome Squidward. Levels. 6 out of 7 abs. 9 out of 10 attack. 8 out of 10 defense. With absolutely no legs. 0 out of 10. Next off, we have our third card. El Senor. Okay, we have El Senor right here. For his backstory. Raised in the Corona slums, he had to fight his way up the El Chapo gang to become the head boss. El Senor is known for his disturbing power of psycho analysis, which instantly destroys an opponent's psyche with one glance. Few have seen his face and lived to tell the tale. His only weakness is pupusas and APGs. There has been no challengers that has come close to defeating him until a certain hero that looked like a bat came along. Properties, villain, El Senor, levels, 8 out of 10 attack, 7 out of 10 defense, 10 out of 10 psychoanalysis. Off to the next one. Next off, we have who? Right here. His backstory. <clears throat> Master Baiters, Cucks of Cup King, who was a legendary villain in the Arkham Age. His reign of terror filled the hearts of WBGs with pleasure. He was known for always having the ace up his sleeve when he needed to get out of a pickle. Unfortunately, he was captured by Master Sweater in 1956. Great spelling. 
after the legendary prison break in 1975, he has still remained on the loose. A bounty of five pesos is on his head. Villain. 6 out of 10 defense. 2 out of 10 defense. Uh, defense. 6 out of 10 attack. WBG smash. 6 out of 9. Now we have Master Sweater. For his story. In a world filled with corruption and crime, a vigilante born from the deepest depths of shadows emerged. Master Sweater. Smoother than silk, stronger than a titanium sword, he fought with a strong sense of justice. He has caught numerous criminals and saved countless lives. His final words recorded from a witness were, Where them big black booty bitches at? He then returned to his homeland of the bay, never to be heard of again, until now. Vigilante. 5 out of 10 attack, 4 out of 10 defense, 8 out of 10 light skin face. And now for the final card of the drop, we have Waifu Vacation. If you activate this rare card, you can turn your opponent's card into a stupid, sexy waifu. Waifu Vacation, 9 out of 10. Kinky. So those are all my cards. I will leave a link to the entire collection in the description box along with links to how to create your own NFTs and a more in-depth explanation of their usefulness as they really are the future of the value holding industry of collectibles and for utility use too. For example, concert tickets as shown by Mark Cuban selling his tickets in Doge. Maybe he'll start selling them in NFTs, stuff like that. So hope you guys enjoyed this very useful video and talk to you guys next time.